Kenya's largest rice irrigation scheme in Mwea, Kirinyaga County, is battling a relentless enemy, invasive golden apple snails. The pests have overrun rice paddies since the year 2020, slashing yields by almost half and leaving farmers desperate. Traditional control methods have failed, but as Emily Chebet reports, science may now offer a lifeline. Kenyan and Israeli researchers are piloting the use of monosex prawns that feed on the snails, promising a double victory for food security and public health. Joyce Waweranjiru and fellow farmers in Kibimbi within the Mwe irrigation scheme wade through their rice paddies. Hands submerged in murky water, a familiar daily routine. For years, rice farming has been their livelihood, but since the invasion of the golden apple snail five years ago, everything has changed. <laughs> The golden apple snail native to South America has spread rapidly through Mwea, wiping out nearly half of farmers' harvests. Beyond the financial losses, farmers face health risks as they work barefoot in infested waters. For years, farmers have tried everything, from pesticides to cultural practices to slow the invaders with little success. The most reliable option has been draining paddies for several days before irrigation or paying extra labor to collect the pests by hand and dump them on the dikes. But while these measures offer temporary relief, they are exhausting, costly and never fully wipe out the snails. Now, scientists offer new hope. A pilot project by the Kenya Medical Research Institute and the Israeli's Ben Gurion University is testing monosex prawns that feed on the apple snails and also targets snail spreading bilhazia. Trying out uh, like molasticides and pesticides on this, it has not proved to uh, yeah, work very well in the farms. So, and then you saw it's still an environmental hazard and things like those. So, we are trying to come up with a more uh, environmentally friendly approach to deal with them so that it's safe, uh, not only to the farmer, to the food that is being produced here, but more importantly, it is a more sustainable way of controlling. And uh, we are trying to find uh, a, um, an appropriate location to have a prone hatchery that we could test on a small scale level in order to see that it really works, it will be the first time in the world. They can eat dozens of them in, in a few minutes. So we are sure they are very good predators of the snails. The, uh, the challenge would be to know how to implement it in the field, how it can fit in the rice uh, growing system over here, and where exactly we can use them for bilharzia control. Scientists believe the snails first entered Kenya as ornamental species before getting into the environment. To avoid a new invasion, only monosex prawns will be introduced. They feed on the pests but cannot reproduce, leaving out their circle while eradicating the pests. These snails, wherever they are native, they are, cause, they are known to cause diseases there. Currently, there are no reported diseases that have been caused, and specifically is a synophilic meningitis which is and also fasciolapsis that is there in uh, maybe West, uh, South, uh, South American countries. We, uh, as a health uh, concern, that's why we are just trying to remain vigil to just to see whether probably they have that potential of creating. For farmers in Mwea, this scientific solution offers hope to reclaim their harvests, protect their health, and safeguard Kenya's rice bowl. Emily Chebet, Citizen TV in Mwea.